Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And for quick tip number 10, I've decided to talk about this nice little uh, Google Chrome extension uh, by Fireshot that allows you to capture a screenshot of, of a web page. Uh, and this can be really useful um, if you're looking for inspiration or you like a website and you kind of want to use the layout or get some ideas from that website. Um, so all you have to do is open it in Google Chrome and then add it to your Google Chrome um, extensions. And then a little icon here that looks like an S will appear. And just as an example, I'll show you how useful this tool can be. I'll go to awards, awwwards.com. And let's say I'm just looking for a website that I like. Um, so here we'll go to this one. Uh, it's called hallsweiler.no. Uh, and here is the website and all I have to do is click on the Google Chrome extension here that has this S I'll click on it and then I can click on capture entire page and then it'll go through and capture that entire page all right looks good and here it is I can scroll down and view it and perfect and I'll leave a link to this Google Chrome extension in the description area below um, so after it's captured the page, uh, down here we have a few op options. We can save as image, save to PDF, copy to clipboard, or print. So I'm going to save it as an image, and it saves it as a PNG, and I'll just click save, and then it'll save it as a PNG, and I'll go to that folder, and here I have the image. So here it says Fireshot Capture 4. I've captured a few uh, other web pages or screenshots uh, before this one, so I'm on number four. Uh, but all I have to do here in Adobe Muse, I have a, a page opened, um, and if you want to create a new page, just go to File, New Site, and then I'll just drag that image into Adobe Muse. Okay, and there it is, and what I'll do is resize it to the entire width of my web page here in Adobe Muse. And I'll bring it down, make sure that it's at the top, here, yeah, all the way down there. And what I can do here, um, so if I go to File, Preview Page, and Browser, so in Adobe Muse we have a few different options when creating a website, right? We have Fixed Width, Fluid Width, um, and we have Adaptive Design as well. So here, if I decided that I wanted a, a fixed width, or uh, the website to just be exactly 960 pixels in width, um, then I wouldn't set this image too responsive. Um, and then we can see we have white space here on the site, which doesn't look bad. It keeps the user focused within the center of the website. Um, but if I did want this website to be responsive, uh, what I could do is click here on the page expansion tool right up here, these arrows. And then if I, if I preview again, we're going to see that the website becomes responsive or this image becomes responsive. So we can see how it would look if it was responsive, just like this and kind of go through and and see how the website will look. So what's great about having this image in Adobe Muse first is that I can use these guides here from Adobe Muse. So here are the rulers. And if you don't see these, you can go to view. You can click here where it says hide rulers. If it's visible, it'll hide it. Uh, but then you can click show rulers if it's not visible. And then you have these rulers here. And then you can hide guides or show guides. So if you go to view and you click hide guides, you won't see any of the guides here on the website. But if you click on show guides, you'll be able to see them. Um, and it's important that that's enabled because what you can do now is put guides where you want to create different elements on your website. So I can create guides around these images just to really get the, the, template, the template going. So let me, yeah, there we go. So you drag it from the left, from the left here in the ruler, and you drag it into the website, just like that. So I'm just creating guides around images and uh, just to get a feel for where I want to create different elements on my website. So as we can see, it's very useful. And this is actually a precursor for another video I'm going to create where I'm going to take a Photoshop template and recreate the entire Photoshop website or recreate the entire website from the Photoshop template. But as you can see, you can do it with an image as well. So I'm just placing guides in here around the different sections, the different images, uh, in, in case I wanted to use a similar layout to this website, just like that. So what I could do here, because I have these guides, for instance, I wanted an, I want an image uh, this size, I can just go to my rectangle tool and draw a square around this element. And because the guides are there, they, they snap really well and it looks good. So I can create a rectangle here and I'll fill it just, just as an example. 
so I think I might be over my um, my five minute mark but I'll just uh, continue a little bit more here and you know you can just create elements and then fill the elements with uh, with your own content so it's a nice tool and it can make for really um, nice way to make a website and you can just put the guides in there and then here there's a video um, so yeah let me create a rectangle here there's a video so I'll just create a rectangle here and I could even use the ultimate video widget just create a rectangle fill it with the poster image drag in the ultimate video widget I do have a video on that where you just drag the widget assign the graphic style name to this element and then you can add a video and then you know you could put the menu up here and things like that so I'll make this transparent for now uh, but yeah that's basically it and yeah let me make it blue and then we'll preview in the browser just to see how it looks here all right, so that we have that blue square uh, and we see that the square is not uh, responsive width and height I do want it to be responsive width and height um, so that it matches the image so let's preview that again so as we can see it matches the image it, it completely covers the image but if I go to these elements here they're responsive width and height all right so the the image isn't going to respond exactly to how it is in Adobe Muse um, but that's just kind of playing with it at first you just want to get the layout and then you want to you know just kind of play with it and see so here if I set responsive to none and then you know I can make the elements not responsive and things like that so what I would recommend is creating the layout first hold on one sec let me do responsive with or I'll do stretch to browser with yeah, I'd recommend you know creating the layout first in Adobe Muse on let's say a 960 breakpoint and then um, then going to the different breakpoints and seeing how you can adjust the website for those breakpoints or you can take an image here in Fireshot you could resize the browser to the size of the breakpoint that you want and then take the screenshot so here if I resized it um, I can right click just to see you know let's say I wanted a breakpoint at 768 something like yeah, there we go, <laughs> 768. So I could take a screenshot of the website at 768, and then I could bring that image into Adobe Muse and kind of work with that the template that way. Or I could just start with the 960, and then, okay, I, the template looks good at 960. Now I'm going to you know just customize it how I'd like on the different breakpoints. Um, and you can do fluid width or fixed width or you know adaptive design. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Um, I think it's a very useful tool. And in my next video tutorial, I'm actually going to recreate a website from scratch using a Photoshop template and then using this method I just outlined with dragging the guides in and then filling the guides and then filling, you know, the different rectangles with images or content. And, you know, if, if the website has effects, you could even go and say, OK, I want to use let's say I want to use the animator to bring in some of those elements like on this website. You know elements are coming in you could do this with the animator widget or the simple and sweet on scroll uh, animations as well um, just to create a similar effect like this okay so that's it for this video tutorial um, i'm not associated with this website uh hallsweiler um, i just went to awards.com um, a w w yeah with three w's and just took a screenshot to, to demonstrate this here so the guides are really helpful you can bring the image in and use a, an image as a nice um, as a nice base for how you want to design your website. So that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, look out for the next video tutorial on uh, recreating a, a website from a Photoshop template in Adobe Muse. Um, so I'm really excited to do that uh, video tutorial as well. Um, I'll leave a link to the Google Chrome extension below. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.